In this video, I want to show you how to calculate hours from an end and start time. And I want to show you the two formulas, 1 and 2, that work on a day shift or a night shift. And in particular, I'm going to explain the mysterious mod function and how it works. Now, calculations with time in Excel are not possible unless you know what's actually in the cell. If you look up in number formatting, we have a time number format. But if I wipe away the number formatting using the general number format, it shows me that there's actually a decimal. Control Z. And what Excel does is it takes the hours and divides by 24. So 8 divided by 24. Control Y is 0.333. So anytime we make calculations like trying to get to hours, we need to know that we're dealing with a decimal. Now, it's easy to get a decimal, the proportion of 24 hours, back up to 24 hours, because if it divided by 24, we just multiply it to get back to hours. Control Z. That makes the formula easy if we don't have night shift. In parentheses, I say, hey, end time minus begin time, close times 24. Now watch this. When I Control Enter, it always sucks the number formatting. So instead of always having to go up to General and apply General, use the keyboard Control Shift tilde, grave accent. And then I can copy it down just for the day shifts, and that works like a charm. Now, if we copy the formula all the way down, for this record right here, this person started at 8 PM and left at 3.45 AM. The problem is 3.45 AM is smaller than 8 PM. In essence, underneath, we took 3.75 divided by 24. This is 8 divided by 24. So that's smaller. When we take smaller minus bigger, well, of course, we get negative. Now, down here, if I do the calculation, 7.75 divided by 24, that's what I actually want right there. Now, the convenient thing is, if I take 1 and subtract that little bit right there, that's exactly what we get. So from this formula right here, if I can amend it, and at the end, add 0, 0, 0, add 1, 1, and have one formula element do that, that would be perfect. Well, the way you create that is you just ask, hey, is the start time bigger than the end time? Down here, we're going to get a true, up here, a false. Control Enter, copy it down. And guess what? If we just add this to the end of our formula, falses are really zeros and trues are really one. So we do end minus begin, close. And then we just add the logical part. Control-Shift-Enter, Control-Shift-Tilde, drag it down, and bam, that's exactly what we want. Now if we simply multiply by 24, Control-Enter, get rid of that formatting, there are the hours. Now a much easier way to do this is to use the mod function. Now the mod takes a number or a numerator, and a divisor or a denominator does the division and delivers the remainder. So for example, if I say 3 is the numerator, 2 is the denominator, well, the remainder is 1, F2. But for a night shift formula, in number, you put end minus start, comma, and the denominator is 1. That magic right there, when I enter and copy it down, that is amazing. It got exactly the correct decimal for 7.75 hours. And of course, you finish up this magically short formula with times 24. Copy it down, and there's our short, amazing formula. Now, how does mod do its magic to help us with this night shift? Well, here's the algorithm. And before we do our example from the night shift, let's look at an example over here. If we take n, that's the numerator, divided by the denominator, 3 divided by 2, well, that gives us 1.5. And really, the int part of this formula is what's doing the magic, because it always goes down to the next integer. 
So down from 1.5 is 1. Then the next part is the denominator times the result. So 2 times 1, well, it's 2. Finally, we take the n minus all of that, and 3 minus 2, that's how the mod gets remainder 1. Now let's see what happens over here. For us, the numerator is always going to be n minus start. And since our denominator is always going to be 1, we don't actually need to divide by 1 or multiply by 1. This is the formula. So I enter this, copy it down. An integer, in this case, these are positive decimals. So when it goes down to the next integer, down to 0. For these, down to minus 1. So we simply add int, copy it down, and there's our zeros and minus 1. Now all we have to do is do our n at the beginning and subtract. And minus start, and when we subtract, well, subtracting 0 won't change it. But subtracting negative 1, that's like adding 1. Enter it, copy it down, and there's the proportion of a 24-hour day that represents 7.75 hours. Now over here in the worksheet and DAX, we're going to use the mod function when we have to deal with a night shift or any time over midnight. But guess what? If you're trying to do it in Power Query, the number.mod function does not work the same. So guess what? We can use this formula right here. And over there, we'll use round down. And we'll get a super easy formula in Power Query for night shift. All right, we'll see you next video.